Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today because we're going to be reviewing the Medela Freestyle Pump. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests about this little guy and um, I've been using him now for a couple of weeks and I'm ready to give you guys my review. Um, I also have something else fun to like, add with this video is that um, I have actually hacked this pump so you can use um, backflow protectors and the um, original Medela uh, bottle connection. So I will show you that in this video, so just keep watching um, if you guys are interested in my review on the Medela Freestyle. So I actually like wanted to review this pump like a lot sooner, but just like never got around to reviewing it. I just, I don't know, like it, time just kind of got away from me. And then every time I'd look at it, I was like, oh, I don't really feel like I'm going to like this pump. Like it's just going to be like every other pump or I kind of thought that the suction was going to be a lot more like uh, the Medela Pumpin style and I liked that pump. I used that pump for my first son but I haven't gone back to that pump because it's definitely too mechanical and it's it's just not like the most comfortable pump. Um, not to say that that's a bad pump but um, I know a lot of people use that pump kind of as their first pump and then they usually move on to something else if that sort of makes sense. But you know, today we're here to talk about the freestyle. So I guess I'm not even sure like where I want to start with this pump because I was pleasantly surprised and I love this little guy. I use him now all the time whenever I want to travel. He has this handy dandy little clip so I can clip him on to my jeans, shorts, whatever. Like you could even like clip him onto your shirt if you really wanted to. Like the clip makes it an endless possibility. Um, the battery life on this thing is really, really good. It's a lot better than, I want to say, all of the other travel pumps that I have. The Motif Duo, uh, this has a, batter, a better battery. It's a little bit heavier, which I think is what makes it better, is because the battery's bigger. Um, the Baby Buddha, it totally smokes it uh, with the battery life as well. And the charging port is right here at the bottom, and right here is where you plug in, whoops, is where you plug in your tubing. Um, here's the on button. This is the let down button. I hope you guys can see that. Um, this is the memory function, which I don't really use that often. This is decrease suction, increase suction, and here's your LED screen. And I'll turn it on. Um, it is, it does sound pretty loud right now, but that's because um, it doesn't have any tubing. But it is kind of on the louder end for a pump, but I feel like it's totally worth it. I use this pump when I pump in the car. It's really nice to bring in my pump bag because it can just slip in there. It's so, so small and compact. And I love that it has this little clip. Like, why don't all the other travel pumps have that? I don't know, but Medela is kind of really good at that. I feel like they think of everything in their pumps and with this pump, they definitely did. Um, I want to say that the battery life, I pump for 30 minutes, um, six times a day, so I probably have to only charge this maybe once, maybe twice a day. It really kind of depends, but usually it's no more than two times a day, where with my other travel pumps, I would like usually have to plug them in after every session or after every two sessions, if that makes sense. But with this guy, he... I don't have to do that, which is really, really nice. Um, I don't have the charger with me right now, but it's a standard, um, I think this is a 9 volt or 12 volt um, plug, but no problems with the charger. And I do, um, actually, wait, no, the charger's right here. Normally where I'm sitting, um, I actually have that little table, um, so the pump's charged there. But yeah, you just plug him right in there and you know, he charges in, I'm like referring to it as a, a boy, uh, the freestyle charges in probably like mm, 30 minutes to an hour or so, like fully charged, maybe even less. Like it's hard to even tell. I feel like when I come back to pump again, it's always fully charged and it's fine. So now I actually want to talk a little bit about the Medela parts that come with the freestyle. So you'll notice that the freestyle, hold on. Oh my god, why? I'm like all over the place in this video. I'm sorry. So you'll notice that the freestyle has a 
backflow protector. That is because this pump, this is a little hard to take off, um, is uh, like hospital grade. So it does have a backflow protector. This is their backflow. It's kind of decent size. This is like the back of it. And then this is what it looks like. Your flange would go in here. So this is considered a closed system pump. So that means that no moisture will get into your actual pump because the backflow uh, stops that from happening. And then right here, there's like a hole. You probably can't tell, but you can see that there's a little thing here. Um, that is where you put your tubing. Now, um, I don't mind this setup at all. I really don't, like it's fine. I haven't used this setup. The main reason why is because I feel like they're a little bit hard to clean. And because I have to be super, super sanitize, um, I have to super sanitize like everything because I'm pumping for a milk bank. Um, I just felt like this was kind of hard to just clean. And I feel like the parts, like they're a little bit difficult to, you know, like get on and stuff. And it, it's not like too much of an issue, but it's just, it's, yeah. It's something to note. Um, and I just felt like I don't really have enough time to kind of just like rummage with this. I know a ton of people who have, who use this backflow kind of system and are completely fine with it, whatever. Um, but you don't actually need a duckbill system either. So that is kind of nice. Like it does eliminate that kind of extra cleaning. But I feel like just... I don't know it didn't quite work for me not to say that these parts aren't good or anything it just like didn't quite work for me so that's why I came up with this uh, freestyle hack so this little thing I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it there this little thing is what goes into this part of your Medela freestyle pump parts and the tubing would normally like come down that end and I was looking at it and I was like oh this looks really simple so all I did, let me just get the tubing here. Okay. So this is one end of the Medela Freestyle tubing, and that goes right into this part of your pump. So like right up in here, it clicks in really nice, kind of like the um, Medela Sonata. I like how it clicks in there. Like it really feels nice and sturdy. I like that. That's great. So then on the other end of your pump, you have the actual freestyle tubing, which is kind of short. Um, it, it is a little bit short, but I understand that because you could like put it on your hip like this and you know, you really don't need it to be that long. Uh, but this is the tubing. It kind of has that um, Y, I think is what they call it, tubing. And then um, normally this little piece would be on this end of the pump. And then if you wanted it to be a single pump, you would just stick it in like that. Normally there is another yellow piece, but I'm going to get to that hack right now on how to do that. So your Medela Freestyle parts would look like this. This would be your tubing normally. So all you want to do is just rip that little yellow piece off. You don't need it right now. And you want to get your regular um, Sonata or backflow protectors from Maymom. Like, I'm sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure where you guys can like see it a little bit better. I'll just have to move over to the side. But, um, so I have uh, my connector and my backflow thing here. So all you want to do is just take this tubing and stick it on that little piton thing that's sticking out on the backflow protector. And there you go. Now, you don't need, I mean, I, no, you really couldn't do that, but... Now you don't need to have this. You can just connect this right into the back of your regular Medela pump parts. Or even, um, oh no, my battery. Now we have a fresh battery. All right. So now you can use your Medela Freestyle with your regular backflow protector and this can just go into your original Medela or even, I'm not sure if this could go into the Spectra, I bet it, I bet it could, um, pump parts. So then now this pump is considered hacked, so you can use it with whatever parts fit with this backflow protector. And I absolutely love that. I felt like it just was so much more freeing and better and not to say that these parts aren't bad or anything, but I just really liked um, finding out about that hack and I really wanted to share it with you guys because I know a lot of people, you know, like maybe say you bought this pump like online, like secondhand, 
and you don't really want to buy all the parts because you already have like the original Medela parts, now you can hack it and you're good to go, which is super, super fun and awesome. Like I love that that is kind of like an option with this pump. Now that I showed you the hack with the Medela Freestyle, I want to talk a little bit more about it. Um, one of the things that I love about this pump is that the suction is definitely nowhere near the Medela pump in style. So if you're familiar with that and are nervous that the suction will be like that, it's not. It is a little bit more like mechanical, but it's got a lot more vibration to it, which I love. It's not like as vibrating as the Motif Duo, but I think it's pretty, pretty close. And it's a, it's really gentle. Like I, I feel like it's really gentle. I kind of didn't think that it would be, I thought it was going to be more of like a powerhouse pump, nowhere near to the um, suction as the Baby Buddha though, but I think that this pump would be great for anybody who's exclusively pumping or pumping so often, especially at work. This would be a great work pump because it's so little. It is a little bit on the louder end, so that's just something to note um, if you're like in a conference call or something like that. Uh, or kind of out in the public area, just something to note. But I feel like it's completely worth it with this pump because um, it's just so small and versatile. I don't feel like it's that heavy. I feel like it's completely fine. Um, I wanna say that the rechargeable battery has been fine with this, and this is also a secondhand pump. I bought this off of the Facebook um, pump yard sale or whatever, which I will leave that link down below for you guys so that you can find your own. And this pump is just, it's been great. So I do want to mention that there is some weird kind of, it's not weird, but there's just this thing on the back so that says push. And I feel like a lot of people, I didn't even know that this happened, but if you push it, um, it just opens up the back and this is the rechargeable battery. So if something were to happen to the battery, you could potentially, um, replace the battery and you wouldn't have to replace the whole pump which I love that like that's that's a great option like thank you Medela um, I also it also has this really nice kind of grip here on the side so it's really easy to hold and it does like to kind of sit in your hand nicely and I love that it has this little protector here for the charging port so if it does get wet or you drop it in the sand or like milk somehow gets over there it's not gonna like ruin your um, charge port which is really really nice the LCD let me turn this down there the LCD is also really really bright so you can use this like in the daytime outside and you can see what you're doing where I know with the Sonata it's really hard to see that LED screen out um, like if you're in the sunlight and stuff I've actually written to Medela and told them this um, and they did say that they will kind of take that in consideration and talk to their engineers about it, which I thought was kind of cool. But this LED is completely bright enough and you can totally see what you're doing and it's really user friendly. I don't feel like the learning curve was big at all with this pump. It was perfect. It's just, you know, minus plus, like letdown button um, and then your memory button. And I do feel like your memory button was really nice because if you press down on the memory button, um, you can save whatever you're doing on there where I feel like other memory buttons just seem confusing. This one didn't seem that confusing. It was just one you press down on what it on which um, option you'd like it to save and then it saves it. Super simple. I have nothing negative to say about this pump. I love it. I was pleasantly surprised. I really honestly didn't think that I would like this pump. I thought it would be more mechanical, but it's not. It's a gentle pump. It's a great pump. I feel like it gets out clogs for me. It you know, I have really good letdowns with this pump. Um, I use it now for my main travel pump. Pretty soon um, I will be taking an LNA class and I'm hoping to bring this pump with me because it is so small I won't have to like lug a huge pump. Um, I do still use my Mo Motif Duo. Uh, my Baby Buddha not as much anymore but um, I still think those pumps are awesome. Um, if you can get your hands on this pump I definitely would if your insurance covers it try and get this pump. Um, it's great. I feel like the biggest reason why you should look into it is the battery life. It has a lot longer of a battery life than the Motif or the Buddha. If you can't get this pump for whatever reason, because I, it is pretty pricey like on its own, and I think even with my insurance it wouldn't cover it 100%, um, I would look into the Motif Duo because that pump does have a pretty decent battery life 
um, but I know that that one's 100%, usually 100% covered by your insurance. Uh, so that one's also a good runner up. But if you can get your hands on the freestyle, I definitely would. And you know, don't forget to hack it. Like it's a completely hackable pump, which is really, really nice. Um, so you don't actually need to go out and buy all of the freestyle parts. You can just buy the little pump, even secondhand. You know, just make sure that it does, you know, it doesn't have any problems. It doesn't have any like, you know, dings or dents. Make sure to like ask if it works and how many hours they've used it or how many owners. You know, just like be thorough and make sure that you're getting a good pump for your money. I think I bought this one for like $85, maybe 80. I think it was 85 with shipping, which isn't too bad. Um, this pump I think is originally like $300 uh, on the Medela website. I'll have it linked somewhere on the screen how much it actually is. This is what the little pump looks like. Just wanted to give you guys kind of like a little, there's a little hole. And here's the charge port, if I can open it. Oh, mm, there we go. This little charge port, yeah. So it's a great, it's a great little pump. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and my review on the Medela Freestyle. Uh, I was really happy to get this video out for you guys. I've had a lot of requests about this video and a lot of questions. Um, a couple of people want me to do uh, like, a review with the Medela Freestyle against the Sonata and if I was going to pick one um, I mean they're both like portable pumps they're both great pumps they're both ew, let me just say you're both the both ugh, I can't speak let me just not speak for like five seconds um, they're both really good pumps so I feel like that would be really hard to pick one um, but you can hack both of them too which is really really great and I do want to actually get out a Sonata hack video for you guys as well so I'll probably give my full kind of thoughts on you know comparing the two pumps after I show you guys the Sonata hack. My son just interrupted me so I'm not really sure where um, I was but um, I do want to get uh, comparison videos out for you guys. I do want to do the Sonata hack video and I have an unboxing coming really soon. I had a pump come in the mail so keep your eyes out for that. But if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you join us. We're trying to get to 500 subscribers and we just hit 200. So thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed and been watching since day one. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing. You know how like there's weird emotions and sometimes you just like awkwardly laugh? Well, that's me. Uh, I also had a massage this morning, so I feel like I'm a little bit like, woo, because of all the like oxytocin, oxytocin, no, oxytocin that's, you know, was like running through my system from the massage. Anyways, but I just, I do really want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, it means a lot and I really am enjoying putting out these videos. Um, I will be starting my class pretty soon in September, so I will be going down to one video a week then. I will sort of, you know, let you guys know as that gets closer, but um, if you haven't seen kind of my four-month postpartum video, I'll link that up above so you guys can kind of get onto, you know, the right planes. So we're all on the same level, but thank you so much for being here, um, and I hope that you give this video a like, and I will definitely make more reviews and comparisons and please comment below with questions or video requests and I will get those out as soon as possible but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Focus. Echo shut up. Echo. Let me just wait for other people to leave the premises. It is a nice little spot. She literally came here and picked up a cowbell. Like she came and bought a cowbell.